Hello everyone, my name is Luca Lawson, and I'm an astronomy and aeronautics student at Liquid Learning High School. I'm making this short video series to teach you about the universe, how it works, and ways that you can interact with it, and experience it from home. In the first video, we explored the celestial sphere, some basic vocab of stargazing, and a method to help measure distances in the sky. In this video, I'm going to go over the basics of telescopes, how to make a simple telescope from home, and explain the physics behind telescopes and different kinds of lenses and mirrors. Before we get into making a telescope, we need to talk a little bit about how they work. The two most common types of telescope are a refracting telescope and a reflecting telescope. A refracting telescope uses a series of lenses to bend light and magnify the object you're looking at. The first lens, a smaller one used as an eyepiece, magnifies and focuses the light that's incoming. The light from this comes from the large lens at the other end of the test telescope, which is used for collecting and bending the light emitted from the object in view. In between these two lenses, the light is focused and the image is produced. Contradictory to what you might previously know, there are two kinds of images, a real image and a virtual image, and they are produced in different distortions of light. You might think that a real image is the same as how it looks to the bare eye. However, a real image is actually a flipped version. Real images are caused by convex lenses, like the one used in refracting telescopes. Convex lenses bulge out in the middle. Uh, this causes the light to redirect inwards, flipping the image and causing a real image. Concave lenses look like an hourglass from the side, with the top and bottom being wider than the middle. They redirect the light outwards, causing the image to be right side up. This image is called a virtual image. Here's a picture of what a convex lens and a concave lens look like. Now on to reflecting telescopes. Reflecting telescopes are a little bit more complex, uh, and they are the telescope of choice for viewing things really far away. Reflecting telescopes, as you might guess, use a series of mirrors to redirect and reflect light and expand the image. As you can see in this diagram, the light is collected from a concave mirror and redirected to its secondary concave mirror uh, into the eyepiece. To make your own simple telescope, you need two convex lenses, preferably one is larger than the other, but mine are the same size, which is okay. You're gonna need a cardboard tube like this one. You're gonna need some tape and scissors or a knife. Make sure that if you're using a knife or scissors, you have a parent or guardian there to supervise you. First step is to hold out the lenses in front of you, one closer to you than the other, and try to find an object in the background to look at. Once you have the object aligned in a good place so that is magnified. You want to measure the distance between the two lenses and make sure you write it down somewhere. Step is to cut a slit like this one about an inch, maybe a little less than an inch from the front of the tube. Make sure that this is wide enough so that you can fit one of your lenses inside of it and so that you can see the whole lens through and it's not only half of it step is you want to calculate your measurement from when you measured the distance between your two lenses and you want to measure from the slit you just cut you want to measure that distance to find the slit of where your other lens should go i'm going to draw my line of where i want my second slit to go right there and then making sure i'm very careful I'm going to cut another slit where I drew my line. Both of your slits cut, 
you can put your lenses into the slits and use glue or tape if you need to secure them tightly. Now, you have a working telescope that can see things a little bit closer. If you want, at this stage, you can decorate your tube and make it look a little bit nicer than mine does right here. Um, and you can show all of your friends that you made your own telescope. Thank you all for watching this video. In my next video, I'm going to talk about light and how it travels, plus a couple of wacky concepts that are caused by light. Have fun with your new telescope.